Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to double jump and how to add this as a power up. So I'll show you both because the double jump is very easy but a lot of people don't know how to do it. So I'll show you how to do that and I'll add something else to it so you have to collect something to be able to unlock its ability. So first off, to just do the double jump, I'll show you that. So you just open up your character blueprint. So for me, that's the third person character. So content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. Again, this could be first person or whatever you've named it. Then up in the top left, select the third person character self, or basically just the root component of your character. So the very top one. And then over in the right, in the details, we're going to search for jump max count. So here at the bottom there. You see it says one if we change this to two we can now double jump so if we then compile and close this hit play if we jump jump again we've got double jump and it, we can only do it twice so we have a functioning double jump here now so see if that's big enough oh, i think that's just too big yep so as you can see this is very easy to implement so we have now instantly got a double jump in our game so this is why i'm now also adding something else on because obviously this is like what, a minute long video, very quick. So I'll add something else to it. So if I just put that back to zero, just to show you how to do this now, or one, sorry, not zero. If I do that and then close it. What we're gonna do is add a power up. So this is basically gonna be, you run into this, get a double jump for a set amount of time, and then it goes away. So to do this, I'm gonna create a new blueprint. So I'm gonna right click, go to blueprint class, and get an actor. I'm gonna call this double jump BP, or something like that, name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna open that up straight away. And then I'm up in the top left, I'm going to get a static mesh, and I'm just going to set this to the a default cube. This can be whatever you want, this is basically just what it's going to look like for you to pick up. So I'm just going to get this to the cube, and then make this a little bit smaller, like so. In fact, I'll make it smaller than that. So again, make this whatever you want, I'm just doing this for testing. To compile that, I'm going to go straight to the event graph. So that's just the looks of it, I'm going to go to the event graph here. Actually, one more thing, sorry, we need a box collision. So again, go back to the viewport, add component, get a box collision, like so and just scale it to the, be the correct size of your cube here as well. So I think if I do that, oh, it needs to be a little bigger. So I think that'd be good. Just make it so that basically the player can then walk into this and it will trigger what we want. So now go to the event graph, right click on the box collision up in the components up there in the top left, add event on component begin overlap and do that again, add event on component end overlap. And for the other actor of both of these, we're gonna cast to our character Mine is the third person character, but this could be first or whatever you've named it. So plug that into the other actor of both of those like so. And this basically means if the third person character overlaps it, nothing else, then it will trigger this. So then as third person character, we want to set max jump count like so. And we're gonna set this to two like so. We just set that to two so we can double jump. Actually, we don't need the end overlap down here. We just need to begin overlap. So we've then set this to two, and we're just going to simply destroy actor. Destroy actor down here, like so, with the target of self, so that this then disappears, so we can't do this again. So once we've done that, we can compile, and close this, and then we'll just go back to the third person character here. So now we've got that, so when we walk into it, we get a double jump, but that means it will last forever. So you can leave that as that if you want, but I want this to only last a certain amount of time. So I'm going to get some space, and then get an event movement mode changed, like so. With coming out of the new movement mode, we'll get an equals enum down here and set this to falling. So basically, if we're jumping, falling, it's going to trigger this here. And we're going to come out of the event movement change there, and we're going to get max jump count. Sorry, we're not going to right click. We're just going to right click, sorry. So you can then get max jump count, like so. And then we're going to just come out of this and get a equal equal so equal integer i'm going to set this to two so basically if we have a double jump so if we can jump twice get a branch so hold b and left click plug that condition of that into there and then plug that into the event movement mode changed so basically when we're falling so they get another branch and plug the falling into there plug this like this and then out of true i'm going to go into this branch so basically if we're falling it's going to see if we have a double jump and if we do we're going to then set a delay so we're going to come off of true get a delay, we're going to set this to let's say 10 seconds just for testing. So this is basically how long you want the power up to last. So I want this to last 10 seconds, you can have this whatever you want, 30 seconds a minute, anything like that. So then after this delay we're going to come out and, and then we're going to set the max max jump count like this and we're going to set it back to 1 so we only have a singular jump like so. Actually what I'm also going to do is just move this out a bit, 
and get a drag out of the branch, sorry, so get out of true and get a do once. So this top one here, like so. And then out of this jump count here, out of the set, we're then going to go into the reset like that. I'll double click this to get reroute nodes just to make this look a little nicer. Now why we've added the do once there, is so that otherwise every time we double jump, so every time we jump with a double jump, it will do this, meaning it will always be setting this delay and it will keep resetting it. So if we have it so it only does this once, basically off the first time we double jump, it's going to set this. So this does mean you will have the power up. The power up doesn't basically start until you double jump the first time or until you jump, which I think is good for me. So we've basically got the do once, so it will then do this delay and set it back to one only on the first time you jump. And then after it's done this, it will reset, meaning it can then do it again if you get the double jump upgrade again. So if we compile, we can now test this out. Also, let's drag in our double jump power up here. So we get that, hit play. You can see that I can jump, and I can only jump once. If I keep pressing it, I can't double jump. If I walk into this here, it's gone. I can now double jump, and I can keep double jumping. And if we wait about 10 seconds, we should see that I can no longer double jump. So as you can see here, I'm still double jumping. Can't reach that, it's too high. But now I can no longer double jump anymore. I can only jump once. So this works perfectly. And so if I get more than one of these in here, I'm just going to set change this from 10, so let's say 5 seconds just for the purpose of the video to make it a bit quicker. If I can't double jump here, if I then get this, I can double jump. We should see that after 5 seconds I no longer can. So here we are, double jumping again. There you go. Now it's just one jump. Now if I go and get another one, I can double jump again. So this is working perfectly How many ever however many times we want to do this. So I can no longer double jump, walk into this it's gone and I have a double jump again. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so that we have double jump upgrades that we can use. When we walk into them, they disappear. We get the double jump and we've got this to last only a certain amount of time. So like I say, I think that'll be it for this video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.